Hey, yo, what up, YouTube? Y'all know what it is. Drop down. At the end of the day, like always, all eyes on Bree, all eyes on Bree. We're going to keep Prince's name alive until they get justice for sure. Do you feel me? Now, you know the day is Labor Day. So, happy Labor Day to the ones that's out there cooking on that grill, <laughs> doing that grill thing, because I know the day is grill day. You know, I think this is the last time we get to cook on the grill for a holiday before the winter set in. And, you know, don't too many people cook on the grill in the winter time. So, at the end of the day, this is our last time to get it in. I just want to let y'all know, be careful, though. You know, we're still under this pandemic and people still getting sick and still dying by the numbers out here. I mean, they're not really talking about it as much now. It's just because of this election coming up and they still ain't got no control over it. So, you know, they're not going to talk about it that much. But y'all be careful out there, man. Enjoy yourself, but be careful. Now, this video was really dedicated to the um fake... The fake YouTube channels is putting up all kinds of fake news and Grandmaster J got beat up and NFAC got chased out of Kentucky. I mean, this is the situation with this YouTube. I mean, like, I right, granted, everybody do have a voice and everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but that do not give you the right to spread false information. Grandmaster J did not get beat up. I don't even know how somebody... Somebody emailed me. Somebody, I woke up this morning to an email talking about aha. I mean, I, mean, I might I might end up putting an email in my community, put it on the wall just so y'all can see it. Cause it was it was it was crazy to me. He was happy or she was happy because you never know who these trolls be. It could be a he or a shit, could be a she. But whoever the troll was was happy as hell because they felt Grandmaster J got beat up out there. Which was false news. I don't know where you got your information from. Oh, you could have made it up. But that wasn't the case. NFAC did not get chased up out of Kentucky. I mean, um, 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 what what was the other book? What was the other nonsense y'all was saying? Black Lives Matter, NFAC did not get into it. I mean it I mean, and trust me, I have a lot of people that subscribe to my channel that was out there. And they let me know the situation. It wasn't none of what y'all say is going on. Granted, it was a little pushing and shoving. A little bit of pushing and shoving. There was no shots fired. Wasn't nobody running up out of Kentucky. I mean, see, this is where the internet shit takes a turn for the worse. It's because y'all can take valuable information. Valuable, good information. Because what these brothers and sisters out here is doing is good information that need to be spreaded. But what y'all do, y'all take this good information and turn it south. And then all of a sudden, NFAC got chased out of Kentucky by the um the three percenters. And yo, the stories that I have seen on YouTube, it blows me. I mean, and this is my thing, man. Black people, please wake up. I mean, and granted, I've been uploading these videos. I mean, well, on this topic, I've been uploading videos for about a year now. And I get a lot of traffic from a lot of people with different feelings about this situation. And white people are not playing the radio in 2020 with us no more, man. You understand what I'm saying? These, if you watch a lot of these videos, these, these people are talking about a civil war and they going to get armed up and they going to overstock on ammo and all types of weird ass shit. All right, black people. This is what... <laughs> this is what... Don't let these videos and shit blow past you and you thinking these motherfuckers out here is just doing this shit just cause. Nah. You better pay attention. I'm not I'm not telling you to go buy five, six hundred rounds or anything. But fifty rounds beat no rounds any day to me, if you understand what I'm saying. If you do not have a license to go carry, please go get you one and protect yourself. Because I protect myself and my family. I hope you do the same for yours. Because at the end of the day, baby, you can't wait on nobody to come save you in 2020. As you see, when you sit and wait for people to come save you, you be the one fall short. And I'm pretty sure you do not want to be, you or your family member don't want to be one falling short. They defunded in the police department. A lot of people was, so a lot of people is with that and then you got something that's against it. But for those that, but you got to understand some for the ones that's with the defunding of the police department, you know, that comes along with you got to defend yourself. Now you going, you can't defund the police department. And if somebody break in your crib and the only thing you can go fight them with is a butter knife when they got a whole gun in their hand. You understand what I'm saying? You kind of got to weigh your options. 
I mean, if you want to defund the police, you make sure you can defend yourself. Don't sit out here and run behind people talking about defund this police and then you looking for people to come save you when you have no police to come save you. I mean, this is what killed me with y'all because then y'all straddling fences. You straddling fences. You don't want, you don't want, you don't want, you don't want gun rights, but you want to defund the police. It's either or. You understand what I'm saying? Because a lot of y'all can't protect yourself right now. I mean, a lot, a lot of us can, but it's, a, it's quite a few of us are still oblivious to the fact. Hey, man, these people are preparing for something. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. It may not be next week. It may not be next year. But damn it, baby, be ready. Don't sit around and let these people creep up on your back door with a thousand questions and you don't have an answer to one or not even a butter knife to stick somebody in the side to get up out of this situation. If you understand what I'm saying. I mean, we got to be smart about this because the more I be watching these videos and this is crazy. I done started seeing people, white people that do videos that in the beginning, like they really didn't have too much smoke with NFAC and black people. But as of now, it's a whole different story. Watch their videos. The shit is a whole different thing now. Wake up, black people, man. We under pressure. Let's get it right.